Good morning. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. We're doing the wave and then we're twisting and staying twisted and doing some deep inner thigh hip work as well. Um, well, that's the plan. Um, we'll see what actually happens. Um, so come lie on your back and we should begin. Come, come. Uh, I think I'm in the last day of this cold. It's been two weeks with this cold. It's been really, yeah, it's been such a long cold. Anyway, so today I'm intending as the last day of this cold. <laughs> so come lie on your back. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. And just get a sense of, yeah, what are you present to right now? What arises in your awareness or in your attention? And how, how do you acknowledge that and then deepen beneath that? What's the more of you? How do you settle into feeling more, connecting to more? Yeah, really being more right now. Nice. Arms are wide. And then drop your knees down towards the right. Pause there. So now at the moment we're twisted. So draw your left knee up towards your right shoulder and we're still twisted. Bring your left hand overhead into alarm clock and we're still twisted. Bring your left hand back to the floor. Bring your left foot back to the floor. Come back to center. So we're going to do that again. Drop your knees to the, to the right. Draw your left knee up towards your right shoulder. Gliders. Bring your left hand across. So I'm sliding it along the floor towards the right side. So I'm still twisted the whole time, but there are three different moves. Come back to arms wide, foot to the floor, knees back up to center. One more time, knees to the right, left knee to the right, and then left arm to the right. And then come back to center. Nice, other side. Knees to the left, right knee to the left, right arm to the left. Come back to center, right foot to the floor, knees back up to center. Knees to the left, right knee to the left, right arm to the left. And back, foot to the floor, back to center. Last one. Knees to the left, right knee to the left, arm into alarm clock, and come back. Nice, cool. From here, draw your right knee up onto your chest, squeeze it in, and then hold on to your right knee with your left hand. Push your right elbow into the floor, and then drop your right knee down as close to the floor as you can. So my whole right side is lifting off the floor as I do this, and then come all the way back and land on the floor dropping your right knee down to the left. And so I'm really allowing the whole right side to follow, but my arm is still hanging off the floor. So there's a sense of really opening into my chest. And come back to center. One more time. Drop your right knee down to the left, all the way down as far as the floor with your right arm hanging behind you. And just feel deeply into the right shoulder, right chest. And now how would you soften and allow your whole right side of your chest, the whole right side of your shoulder to drop a bit deeper towards the floor. Nice, bring your knee back to center. Other side, draw your left knee up towards you, hug it in. Hold on to your left knee with your right hand. Bring your left elbow to the floor, left arm to the floor. Draw your left knee all the way over until it comes to the floor over on the right side. And my left arm is hanging in the air. Come back to center. And again, drop your left knee down towards the right. Left arm is hanging behind you. Come back. One last time. Over towards the right with the left knee. I'm holding on to the left knee with my right hand. I'm bringing it all the way down to the floor. And now I'm sinking that left shoulder really deeply towards the floor. 
softening the back of my shoulder, softening the front of my shoulder, really allowing the, the weight of my torso to sink and pull me backwards. Nice, come back to center. Super, draw the right knee up onto your chest, squeeze it in, and then lengthen the left leg long. Let it travel out and long. Let the left leg settle on the floor. Hold on to the right knee again with your left hand. Brace your right elbow into the floor and draw your left knee, no, your right knee over towards the left. But I can't go so far this time because if I fall over, if I bring my knee all the way to the floor, I'll actually fall over and not be able to come back. So just find your distance and then draw your right knee back to center. So what distance can your right knee travel over towards the left? What's the balancing point? And then come back. Noticing the sensations, what stops you? So I'm gonna start doing kind of like zombie arms with my right arm. I'm gonna find a place where I can reach my arm to counterweight my right knee and then come back and then one more time draw your right knee down towards the left find a place where your right arm is reaching and extending and it's counterweighting the weight of your right knee and then just deepen and pause there so as soon as we counterweight things things are connected so how do you feel the connection from the right hand all the way to the right knee how would you lengthen the right side as you counterweight? My right hand is floating, my right knee is floating. Nice, come back to center, both feet to the floor, lift your bum up, drop it down, lift your shoulders up, drop them down. Nice, other side, draw the left knee up, squeeze it in. Lengthen the right leg long, let it travel out, and then drop the right leg to the floor. Hold on to the, right, uh, the left knee with your right hand. Brace your left elbow to the floor. And then draw your left knee over towards the right. And find the point of balance. There's a place where it's like there. If I go further, I'll fall over and then come back. Your elbow can be bent or your arm can be straight. The straighter my arm is, the more weight there is in my arm when I need it to counterweight and then come back and even as my knee travels to the right i'm lengthening my arm and dancing the dance of balance between the two points next time you go you're going to pause so drop your left knee over towards the right your right hand is resting on top of your left knee and you're reaching and finding the place where your left arm could be counterweighting and really balancing this in your body and then find that connection. Can you lengthen the left side as you counterweight it? So it doesn't have to shorten. You can open it while it's balancing, which is really quite amazing. Let's come all the way back to center. Pause. I'm gonna lift my pelvis, lift my shoulders, I'm back to center. I'm just feeling into my body, feeling the sense of this moment in my body. Nice. Come all the way over onto your hands and knees. So yesterday we were doing this move. We're going to do it again just because it's so awesome. Bring your right foot out to the side and draw your right elbow back and then reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. And just feel that opening deeply into your chest, widening your chest. Nice. Bring your right hand to the floor, bend your knee, come to the other side. Bring your left foot out to the side, draw your left elbow back and extend your left hand up towards the ceiling. So I have an idea. Sometimes I get ideas. I'm like, oh, let's try this. So not yet. <laughs> Both hands to the floor. Bring your right hand. No, bring your 
right foot out to the side, and now pull your left elbow back. So now it's the opposite arm and leg that are twisting. So my right leg is long, and my left elbow is pulled back, okay? So the right arm, right leg are straight, and the left leg, left arm are bent. Nice, other side. Left leg out to the side, pull your right elbow back. And just feel it in the torso. So this idea that I had earlier, which is bring both hands to the floor, which is twisting and staying twisted, is that you create the constant, which is your torso twisted, and then you start to change your legs in different ways. So this one I haven't practiced, so I have no idea actually if it works. <laughs> so let's give it a go. So bring your right foot out to the side and then pull your right elbow back and pause there and lawn more, okay? My right elbow is back and my right leg is long into the side, okay? Now you're going to change legs, but you're going to keep your right elbow back. So bring your right knee to the floor and now slowly lengthen the left leg out to the side. Oh, it's possible. So I changed legs while staying twisted. Do it again. Both knees to the floor. Bring your right leg out. Wow. <laughs> Both knees to the floor. Bring your left leg out. So that might be too much for you. That might be just exactly what you want. See what's right for you. Nice, both hands to the floor, left leg is out to the side, draw your left elbow back, okay? So left leg is straight and out to the side, left elbow is back. We're gonna stay twisted in the torso and bring your left knee to the floor, bring your right leg out to the side, wow. <laughs> right knee to the floor, left leg out to the side. Feel out, what's it like in your body to coordinate like this? Wow, it's really confusing actually for me. <laughs> Both hands to the floor and just shoulder shrug. Nice, and then try and bring your nose as low to the floor as you can, round your back. Nose as low to the floor, round your back. Nose low, round your back. Nose low, round your back, nice. Come stand all the way up. Cool. So stand to the front of your mat. We haven't done a sun salutation yet in this one, so we're gonna do a sun salutation. So reach your arms wide and bring your palms together, reaching up and looking up, and just pause there for a moment. Feel your body. Feel the length of you. Push down into your heels, down into your feet. Reach deeply up into your fingertips. Nice, bending your elbows, bending your knees, come all the way down, hands to the floor, tuck your chin in and draw your forehead towards your knees. Pause. Can you lengthen through the backs of your legs? Can you bring more weight into your toes? Can you extend the top of your head down towards your feet? Hands to your shins, straighten your arms, arch your back and look forward. A sense of rising through the spine, opening through the front of your chest. Nice, hands to the floor, walk your feet back. So your feet are gonna walk back and then drop your knees to the floor. Nice. Round your back, sit your bum back towards your heels, pause there in a long cat. You can come up onto your fingertips if you wish, but just creating length backwards through your body. Nice. Rock all the way forward. Bring your hips down. Bring your belly down. Rise through the spine, looking forward. And then push back into your cat. Push all the way back into your downward dog. And just play a bit with your calves, with your thighs. Have a sense of discovery or evolving length or connectivity. Enjoy the sensations that are presenting. Really rejoice in the fact that you can feel your feet. Isn't that amazing? I can feel my feet. <laughs> Super. So bring both knees to the floor. And then from here, step your right foot forward between your two hands. I'm going to rise up. 
and step my right foot forward and then bring my left hand to the floor and my right hand to my right knee and turn my chest towards the right. Pull my right elbow back and extend up towards the ceiling. So just pause there. You're in a twisted position. Nice. Bring your right hand to your right knee. Lengthen the right leg long behind you. You're still twisted. Breathing into your belly, sense of power. Pushing your hand into your knee will give your torso some support and strength. Nice. From here, hop the back foot a little bit closer and bring your left hand a little bit out further and then pull your right elbow back into lawnmower. So you can stay here with the right knee bent and the left foot on the floor, or you can just lengthen your back leg and maybe lift your back leg off. You're still twisted in your torso when you do this. Nice. Both feet beside each other. Bring your left elbow down to your knees. Pull your right elbow back and maybe even bring your right hand to your hip. So you stay twisted the whole time. Stay twisted and stand. Lift your right knee up and hold on to it or bring your right toes to the floor and pause there. You stay twisted. As always, you can Lengthen both arms. You can hold on to your front foot if you wish. See what's right for you. You can have your toe on the floor. Nice. Bend your knee. Come back and untwist your body. Nice. Reach your arms wide, reaching up, looking up. Come all the way down, hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins, straighten your legs, uh, straighten your arms and look forward. Hands to the floor, walk back. Knees to the floor, belly to the floor. From here, rising up, looking forward. My hood is really getting in the way today. Didn't, I forgot this thing has a hood. <laughs> and push back into your cat, all the way back into your downward dog and really relish the sensations of legs. Nice. So drop your knees to the floor. Bring your left foot forward. So I'm going to rise up and step my left foot forward. Bring your left hand to your left knee, right hand to the floor. Twist your torso towards the left. And now we're going to stay twisted for the next five or six moves. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Pull your left elbow back and reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. Breathe into it. Nice. Bring your left hand to your knee, straighten your back leg. Really push your hand down into your knee. It'll support your hip, your leg, your torso. Super. Stay twisted towards the left. Hop your back foot in. Bring your right hand a bit forward. Pull the left elbow back. Stay here or lift the right foot off the floor. I don't like reaching my arm up towards the ceiling here. I'm going to keep my hand on my hip as I lengthen my two legs and twist towards the left. Nice. Bring both feet together. Right elbows to, uh, to your knees. Twist a bit deeper. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Nice. Hand to your hip. Stand tall. Stay twisted. Lift your left knee. Either bring your toes to the floor or lift your left knee up and hold on to the outside of your knee. You can if you wish. Straighten your leg and straighten your arms. Bend your knee, foot to the floor. How amazing. <laughs> Come sit on your bum, legs are long. And then scoop both feet over so you're kind of sitting, you're, it's, it's tighter than zigzag. So my right thigh is resting on top of my left foot. And you're gonna bring your left hand to the floor. So it's like you're sitting, isn't that, there's an amazing sculpture in Copenhagen 
of the woman waiting for her husband to come back on the boats or something. So it's kind of like that. Your two knees are bent and your right leg is resting on your left foot. And then lift your right knee up. And then drop your knee down. Lift your right knee up. And so when your foot comes to flat on the floor, push your foot in more as you bring your knee back. So I don't let my sole lift as I go backwards. So when my sole lands, I push the sole of my foot in more and draw my knee back as far as it'll go. And then back. Knee travels back and down. Knee travels back. So see how up you can get here. So you might hold on to your right knee with your elbow. You might reach towards the right foot. You might bring your, so what's up for you here? And then lean into your belly and get really tall. I've noticed what is your your version of this hand could be on the floor or not see nice other side both legs long now mermaid it's kind of a as, as, mm, yeah mermaid it is close to mermaid so bring your left thigh to rest top of your right foot bring your right hand to the floor lift your knee push the knee backwards sole your foot on the floor up it down backwards and so as my knee goes backwards I feel my torso moving forward notice that and as your knee goes forward I feel my torso moving backwards I wonder what parts of us are somehow I think it's counterweighting because if I went backwards with my knee I'd just fall backwards actually or if I went forward with my knee I'd fall forward so I'm counterweighting this is the same counterweighting so I'm being a pendulum Pendulum. Love that word. Neve, you love that word too. <laughs> nice. So try and sit up as tall as you can. Reach towards that left foot. Lean towards the left. Whatever version of this that you do, sit up tall. Maybe your hands on the floor. No matter how flexible you are or how tight you are, there is a version of this that will be wonderful for you. Okay? So find your wonderful version of this. Nice, stretch your legs out long. You can come sit on something if you wish. I'm gonna sit on my ball. You can come into a leg straight, knees crossed, however you wish. Just bring your hand to your heart. Close your eyes. Let your breath settle. What are you grateful for as you sit here today? What inspires gratitude within you? Nice. Come lie on the floor. Come all the way down. Land in onto the floor. Maybe squeeze your knees up towards your chest. Maybe rock your knees. Maybe just lie straight down and back on the floor. How lovely. Um, so thanks for joining me. It's very nice to be here. I'm really enjoying the creative feeling that nourishes. Yeah, it's, there's something deep bubbling in me as I move, as I connect, as I listen to me and attend to all of you. Um, so have a wonderful day. I'll see you all tomorrow for day nine. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day filled with nourishing, wholesome moments that you cultivate, that you curate, that you, you notice in your day. Nice. Ciao, ciao. Be well.